Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts, a creation by Gabor Matanse. In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts, 2008, delves into addiction, sharing real-life stories of addicts often overlooked while offering science-backed explanations on addiction. It prompts introspection on our own addictive behaviours and ways to nurture self-healing. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Dr. Gabor Matwan C., a Canadian physician, has had a long career running a family practice, working in palliative care and treating individuals with severe addictions. He has been recognized for his work in addiction treatment and mental health, receiving the Civic Merit Award in 2011 from the City of Vancouver and the Order of Canada in 2018. Additionally, he is the author of several best-selling books such as Scattered Minds, When the Body Says No, and The Myth of Normal. With five key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlane.net To start, Learn about addiction through science and real-life stories to increase understanding. Modern Western societies often stigmatize individuals with addiction, failing to see them as people first. The text argues that everyone has addictive behaviors to some degree, whether it's related to food, shopping, or work. The author suggests that we are all susceptible to addiction, to varying degrees. The text also warns readers about sensitive topics such as drug use, child abuse and sexual assault that will be discussed. Key idea number one. Addicts are individuals who have developed a physical or psychological dependence on a substance or behavior leading to compulsive seeking and use despite harmful consequences. They may struggle with substance abuse or dependence on activities like gambling or shopping. Serena, a drug addict from Vancouver, has a traumatic past of sexual abuse. She is received with care at the Portland Hotel Society. Meanwhile, Dr. Gabor Matusk, who works with addicts, reveals his own addiction to classical music, despite outwardly appearing successful. His obsession leads to excessive spending and impacts various aspects of his life. Key idea number two, summary. The text discusses the impact of addiction on the brain. Addiction is described as an obsessive passion that harms oneself or others and is influenced by many factors like biology and emotions. Dopamine is a key brain chemical in addiction, with stimulant drugs increasing its levels. With continued drug use, dopamine receptors are damaged, leading to dependence on the substance. Addiction disrupts brain structures responsible for impulse control and decision-making. It's suggested that addicts do not choose addiction, as it disrupts self-regulation circuits needed to make choices. Key idea number three, the text is about the connection between trauma and addiction. Trauma can often lead to the development of addiction as a coping mechanism. Understanding and addressing the underlying trauma is crucial in treating addiction effectively. Addiction is primarily caused by a predisposition established in early life due to environmental factors like stress during pregnancy and childhood experiences. High levels of cortisol due to stress can harm the brain structures implicated in addiction. Children growing up in a safe, caring environment typically develop healthy brain structures, while trauma and stress in childhood can increase the likelihood of seeking mood, regulating substances in adulthood, leading to addiction. Adverse Childhood Experiences – ACE Study links early trauma to a higher risk of substance abuse later in life, Childhood experiences play a significant role in the development of addiction. Key idea number four, brief overview of the ongoing conflict against illegal drug production, distribution and use. Includes various measures such as law enforcement actions, drug prevention programs and international cooperation. Issues around the effectiveness and consequences of these efforts are also highlighted. The war on drugs has led to negative consequences such as increased incarceration rates, family separation, violence, political instability 
and health crises. Addicts are criminalized, leading to further social problems. Decriminalization and harm reduction strategies are proposed as alternatives to address addiction by providing medical supervision, reducing harm, and offering support for rehabilitation. Harm reduction focuses on minimizing the negative impact of addiction without necessarily aiming for a cure. Key idea number five, focus on achieving sobriety. The language around addiction often uses warlike metaphors, but a more compassionate approach is needed, one of curiosity and understanding towards one's own actions. It is crucial to replace self-judgment with self-inquiry. Loved ones of addicts should avoid trying to reform them and instead focus on being with them as they are or making decisions about the relationship. Dropping self-righteousness and approaching addicts with genuine curiosity and understanding is key for promoting healthy relationships and facilitating change. In conclusion, addicts often endure significant trauma and may turn to substances to deal with their pain. Childhood abuse and neglect can lead to neurological issues that contribute to seeking chemical relief later in life. Addiction exists on a spectrum, with many using various behaviours to avoid inner turmoil. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.